All right. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Days Divinity, Days Divine Tarot. Thank you for joining in with me today. Divine Feminines, welcome, 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 welcome back to all the former subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. Once again, thank you all for joining in with me today. As you see from the title of the video, we're going to go ahead and dive into this beautiful Divine Feminine holistic health and healing energy, okay? Before we do, we should go without saying, please do check the description box for any information that you may want or need to know, and if you have any questions, do not hesitate to let me know. As it states in the description box, these readings are intended to be timeless. Time and energy are fluid, meaning you could have already gone through this, you may currently be going through this, and or this may be a prophetic message to come if you decide to embrace and embody the advice the Spirit has for you within the reading or readings, okay? Keep in mind they are general, not all may apply to you, and that's perfectly okay. Take what does, let the rest fly, maybe a message for someone else. Please do not force it, y'all. Just don't. <laughs> don't even waste your time doing it. If the shoe don't fit, like, why hurt your feet, your toes, causing them bunnies and turns and all that? No, 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 it's not worth it. But in all seriousness, though, I promise you, you will know if it hits, if it resonates, that it hit different, for real. And Spirit will let you know if you stay tapped in with your own discernment, okay? And free will. Keep in mind, I do not subscribe to gender roles as far as male, female, but I will say he, she, in reference to masculine and feminine energy. Obviously, we are focused on the Divine Feminine aspect, but don't forget, we have Divine Masculine as well. And I may not even be talking to you nor about you, which is what I've said already. So the Divine Masculine energy and someone, someone else may peep through here, okay? Just begin, keep that in mind. I also am big on numerology, so whether or not I call it out, and if and when I do, I want it to, or I intend for it to resonate, possibly with your life path number, the day or month you were born, maybe even the um, house you want to pay particular attention to in your natal chart. And you can look that up for free. So many different sites if you want to, okay? Um, again, whether or not I call it out, if you are drawn to it, that may be for a reason. It may just be confirmation and or for you to pay particular attention at that time. However, okay? <laughs> We are utilizing the Legacy of the Divine Tarot and the Queen of the Moon order for this week. And I like, I, I'm, I've come accustomed to doing it this way. Um, I want to see what it's all about. You know, what's the message, what's going on, and then words of wisdom or advice or guidance to move forward with. Okay. However, whatever. It may be highlighting exactly what the message is. All right. Whatever. Okay. Um, yeah. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get a quick word of prayer so that we can get into this. To the Most High, Heavenly and Divine, Angels and Sisters, Spirit Gods, I come to you thanking you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very much for this day, for this opportunity, for the chance for me to be a clear and open channel to bring forth the messages to the collective straight no chaser. Allow me to be removed, an ego to be removed, to bring forth the message, as I said, straight no chaser. Please, as always, allow the message to enlighten, uplift, enrich, excite even, strengthen, heal, protect, and nourish whoever needs it at this time. And as I always pray, allow it, as I know you will, to be for the upliftment and the highest good of whoever is involved. All these blessings I come and ask and give thanks yet again. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. All right now, without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, y'all. Let's see what spirit has for us today, honey. And I'm telling y'all, somebody y'all, somebody y'all, <laughs> kumbaya. <laughs> it's not. Funny. I don't know why that's so funny. Anyway, um, some of y'all really got something. There's something going on with this left shoulder, man. And um, I don't know. That's somebody I'm really tapping into. Um, also doing pre shuffle. I saw the. Magician, magician. <laughs> this is gonna be one of them days, honey. <laughs> one of them days. <laughs> Come on off the table. Ooh, that's why I picked it up. That's why she didn't want to come off the table. 
Oh, you got the Judgment and the Queen of Cups here. Mm. I, immediately, I felt like <laughs> some stubborn energy. And with her being in reverse, it's like she's not balanced at all. And I feel like some of y'all, um, some of y'all may have, it's either you want to, somebody want to reconcile with you, especially if you are a mother, however, I don't know, or somebody's mother, you, yeah, did I say that right? Whatever, y'all, I'm trying to get it. It's like either somebody's mother wants to reconcile with them or you, or you want to reconcile with your mother, or if you are the mother, somebody's wanting to, a mother, somebody's wanting to reconcile with you. You understand what I'm saying? Anyway, it's definitely the divine feminine. Um, doing the reconciling or you know somebody's wanting to reconcile with the divine feminine okay that's how i'm seeing it uh again i get cancer energy strongest it could be pisces or scorpio or that may be the signs heavy in with your mother if this has to do with your mother even um i don't know why i always get aquarian energy with this judgment but it's because it's just like even pisces i'm getting today even because it's just like something about awakening reawakening or something or another child don't give me the line but um it's your choice with the 20 being a two in the judgment it's up to you to choose can't tell you which way or the left <laughs> or the left why the left though why the left child why the left to the left to the left <laughs> everything you own somebody might y'all might have moved out away from this person I might be obviously in separation for that judgment to come out <clears throat> with whoever this is, even if this is not your mother. Um, whoever this has to do with, like I said, it could be any of those other signs I don't see it. But, mm -hmm. Somebody is a little bit stubborn here. That's why, like I said, that's why she didn't want to come off the table. Maybe you done dealing with that and you don't want this reconciliation. I don't know. Especially if this is you in reverse. <clears throat> you ain't trying to come to the light, Carolyn. See? <laughs> you ain't trying to move, really. Somebody's coming at you strong, fast and hard. Okay? Just so you know. Um, I don't know if they're quite matured or changed yet. If that makes any sense. I heard somebody got a thick skull. Because that's, that's straight metal right there. And maybe... I don't know. Maybe you've been trying to, but I'm, for those of you who are feeling frustrated, stubborn, like not really wanting, almost resisting this reconciliation. Um, it's like you tired of saying the same thing to this. You can't, cause heard, can't you get that through your greasy head? <laughs> Comment down below if you know where that's from. But anyway, it's like you, uh, what movie, you know, what movie is that line from? Um, but it's like, you know, it don't matter what you say, they not gonna get it. You know what I mean? And you tired of saying the same old thing, something like that, somebody saying. But I feel like they may come at you strong and hard with this apology and may try to lay it out all out there to get you to come back. Cause even with this tornado, it's a tornado girl in the back. <laughs> I feel like it's coming back around. You know what I mean? That storm is coming back. And that's why I said, yeah, that's why y'all really trying to resist it. Cause you already know they ain't really changed. Ooh, ooh, hell no. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Uh, uh, No, you know that. And you feel that. Cause this queen is very intuitive and it's not -uh, too soon, too soon. That's what I'm hearing. But with this devil right here, it could be a Capricorn even you know, that you're dealing with, but they, uh, -uh it's toxic. It was and. Honestly, they still are. I feel like they just, they just, they probably try to come through strong and hard and fast with this so-called apology just to um, get you back in their grasp, you know, like, because, I don't know, she can be manipula easily manipulated. And especially if this is whoever the person is with her in reverse, that's not, she not, a, she not even, she's not even in touch with her emotional side. And that can be a problem because if she's all mental, that's very, especially with that devil behind that, yeah, no, <laughs> no, no, no. That's very toxic. They been, might've been playing mind games with you. You them, whoever. <clears throat> and they might be doing that to try to woo you back. I don't know. See, 
Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming out. This is the balance is temperance energy for me, sage energy, and it's very much so telling you that like stay, stay, look, she got the whole world in her hand and she is the center of her universe. Stay right where you at, honey. <laughs> Don't let nobody break your peace. You know what I mean? And then we got the path. I do feel like this is part of your journey, you know, part of whoever, whatever this is. Um, and I just heard road to enlightenment. So it's like, no, you stay because this 19 being a 10 is like it's done. Done data to begin anew. And I always get like she's done with this darkness. She's done with the chaos and confusion in her past. She's ready to go to a whole new world right here. Come on through, Aladdin. Princess Jasmine, do what you need to do, honey. <laughs> a new fantastic point of view. Mm -mm. No one to tell us no. <laughs> and this is kind of being led and guided, you know what I'm saying? Up out of the darkness, right? Mm -hmm. But that's basically that. And somebody obviously here with that Queen of Swords coming out. Queen of Swords. See? Wow. Wow. For me to say Queen of Swords, y'all might be dealing with a Libra, but I feel like y'all just cut this person out. <clears throat> y'all cut that person out. Because you just was like, no, that's bullshit. Like, look, because Queen of Swords, that's my, that's my homegirl. Like, I swear. <laughs> that's my B. She my, that's my, mm -mm. she don't take no shit. She ain't with it. She's not with it. Don't come with no bullshit. Don't come with no lies. Don't, no more. Never no more is she easily manipulated or confused or she sees it. That's why, that's probably why I was getting that that um, Aquarian energy too, because they are highly astute and, and, and enlightened and see, see shit before it even comes, like before it even graces their path. They see it way before it's coming, millions of miles away. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But uh, yeah, but I was talking about her. <laughs> She's definitely not balanced and um, don't allow her to take you off your balance ground. You know what I mean? Off your path, off your journey. You don't know. That's crazy. I just went there. And the crazy thing, that's probably why I said Queen of Swords too, is because it could be Libra energy. Um, because they, you know, somebody coming through to balance the scales. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for your presence. You know? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The truth shall set you free. But uh, then we got surrender at the bottom of the deck. And I feel like with this 26 being an 8, it's double confirmation with it right here. And um, I feel like the spirit trying to tell you, like, lead and guide you. And there's something going even back to this judgment in the way that this light energy is, you know, trying to open her up. Uh, something about being receptive to the guidance um, of going on this journey. I don't know. Something about that. But let me go on and read to you because these can be a little long, honey. Let's, I guess, start with the bounce. I don't know. I almost feel like I want to start with surrender and go backwards. Let's do that. Pages 68 and 69. Uh, waning Crescent 3. Surrender. Surrendering doesn't mean giving up. Let go of what you no longer need. Stop being so stubborn about Because <laughs> what I say she was doing? Straight stubborn. Didn't even want to get up off the table, child. <laughs> It says, stop being so stubborn about holding on to aspects and behaviors that don't align with who you are now. Stop struggling. That's why that devil came out under there too. The affirmation, I let go. I surrender my struggle. I allow the universe to work through me. It took me a long time to realize that surrendering was a positive thing. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't mean the giving up kind of surrender. Not giving up is in quotes. I mean the, okay, it's time for me to hand this over type of surrender. For those of us who are highly independent and used to doing things quite ably on our own, admitting we need assistance or that we might indeed have to let go, let something go for our betterment can be challenging as facts. Letting go and surrendering admits or exposes a vulnerability or two. To surrender, we may need to show our underbelly. We may need to admit we got it wrong, made a mistake, grew a bad habit, surrounded ourselves with people that are not good for us. It can make us feel raw in our realization. Remember, this moon phase is dark and beautiful. It casts a protective shadow that allows us to be as wide open as we need to be to do our work. We reveal safely We reveal safely to only the divine in ourselves, and then the light returns. The companion stone or metal, orange calcite. That's interesting. Hmm. 
That's that sacral. So it definitely heals a lot with that. So moving on to um, balance. So pages 53 and 54. The number 19, waiting give is three. <coughs> it says, seek balance. Extremes of anything are rarely healthy or useful. There may be an overreaction that has caused the issue. Ground yourself and allow your strength to rise from there. Be aware of where the imbalances in your life are at present. The affirmation, I seek and maintain healthy balances in my life. It says, working with a lunar cycle on a regular basis helps us actually, ex I figured out, yeah, okay. Making sure I gave you the page numbers, 53 and 54, okay? So working with the lunar cycle on a regular basis helps us actually experience the flow and balance in nature. The moon shows us the gradual and peaceful process of waxing and waning and the phases of perfect balance within. Our bodies, our minds, and our human spirits seek balance. <laughs> our bodies, our minds, and our human spirits seek balance, yet perfect, perfect balance is almost impossible to achieve. Think on this. If we try to stand on one leg and balance ourselves, no matter how good at balancing on one leg we may be, it is kind of dense, is it not? The large and small muscles in our legs are just to keep us upright, always moving, never perfectly still. The rest of our body is also performing a myriad of adjustments, a little to the right here in one moment, a little to the center there. The point is that balance is a process, something we can actively seek if we are wise. We need to know when we are unbalanced so we can return to homeostasis. It is useful to know where our imbalances lie and to make a decision about moving towards a more balanced version. Self-reflection helps identify this. When we are too something, working too long, thinking too fast, eating too much, we need to be honest with ourselves so we can identify this quite easily. Allowing ourselves a more considered and balanced view invites a true peacefulness into our lives, something that many people crave in this incredibly busy and chaotic world. Balance allows us to understand that overwhelm isn't a place we want to visit, <laughs> sure ain't, let alone set up home in, and the companion stone or metal is bloodstone, okay? And then finally, the path, once again, this has already come up for us earlier in the week. It is on pages 31 and 32, and it says, Waxing Crescent 6, the path. The way is open for you. And this is the number 8, by the way. Okay? The way is open for you. The path is illuminated. Begin the journey now. Respond and take action. You must be courageous and move forward. The affirmation. I am open and responsive to the opening of the way. When we accept where we are, we acknowledge what needs to change to grow and begin to love ourselves more completely. The direction of our life begins to change. So when we accept where we are, acknowledge what needs to be <laughs> when we accept where we are, acknowledge what needs to change to grow and begin to love ourselves more completely, the direction of our lives begins to change. We often decide we want to follow a more authentic way for ourselves, then our desires become more aligned with the needs, wants, and values of our true selves. Imagine we are lost in a dark forest and can hardly see. There is no visible path and every way looks exactly the same. We feel burdened by shadows and are not sure we should even move because we are so paralyzed by fear and uncertainty. Then the sunshine somehow breaks through the clouds and leaf canopy and there ahead is a path, illuminated in golden light. It is clear now the direction we should head. The path is not only visible, but it is inviting us forward and so, instead of just standing there, we can't wait to step on it and move forward. The path is lit and now it is time to walk upon it. And the companion stone and metal is pyrite. All right? Bring forth that abundance, that balance, that, stabi that stability. Um, as I've already said, surrender to the divine way, you know, the guidance, the, the assurance peace that's to come, you know? I don't know. But my sixth chakra, my uh, third eye is really on a spree. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. That's what I got. I'm going to leave it there. If it resonates, you know what to do. For those of you who are new, that means comment your testimonies down below. And you know, I just may help someone grow, especially including yourself, though. Whether or not someone comes to mind, please do like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so very much for doing so. I truly love and appreciate you for that. If you want to join me for another day, you can check the link in the description box below. I will see you there. And if not, please take care. Again, I love you anyway.
Until the next one, y'all be easy. Do not forget your love and light because it truly makes everything alright. Peace. Thank you.